InvestFest 2022 is brought to you by these major partners Atram, Two Trade Asia, and these other partners. Do not forget to share your experience and learning on social media. Use our official hashtag InvestFest 2022. Our next speaker started out as a delivery boy when he was 12 years old and worked his way up to a career working for a property giant, Elalan, 20 years ago. He is a real estate management graduate of the Harvard Business School. An architect by education, he has worked for architect June Palafox during the development of Rockwell. He is the president of Spectrum Investments, a property portfolio management company. He is also a former homeowner president of the residences at Greenbelt and High End Subdivision, Santiera in the Valley. He is an author of two books on property titled Creating Wealth Through Property and Six Steps to Renting Out Your Condo. He is a top resource for property and has been featured in Empire, Entrepreneur, CNN, Yahoo, Asian Dragon, Money Sense, and other publications. Without further ado, I would like to introduce you to Carl Lee. Hello everybody! Thank you for that wonderful introduction and hello sa lahat ng nag attend ng live and sa recorded ng InvestaFest 2022. Guys, I'm so glad to be here with ang daming speakers uh, during this InvestaFest 2022 and it's so overwhelming. Ang daming learnings. Ang mga idols ko are all here in this uh, seminar, webinar, Zoom and especially kayo, I really want to say hi to all of you and you know, you give yourself a round of applause for being here today. Yes! So, hello sa lahat na sa Philippines, uh, Middle East, America, Asia, Australia, and all over uh, the world. Yon. Salamat, salamat, and I'm so happy to be here. Just go to the chat box and type, yay, if you are happy to be here today. So, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Carl D., your property teacher, your property guru, and I'll be talking about property today. Let's begin. So today, I'm going to talk about real estate. Three property techniques. Techniques that will make you uh, wealthy and give you life-changing wealth over the next 20, 30, 40 years of life. Game ba kay dyan? If you are game, please go to the chat box and type game na. <laughs> so you know what guys, uh, there's a Harvard study that people who clap and cheer, they become five times richer. Kaya, can you go to the chat box and just cheer? Yeah, hey, yahoo, wee And then clap na lang kayo dyan in your, in your own home office or while you're driving. By the way, guys, mayroon akong pa-contest today. So that the 20 most active chatter in the chat box will get a free copy of my book, Six Steps to Renting Out Your Condo. Okay ba sa inyo to? Okay ba? Yes. Yes. So just go to the chat box, monitor kami sa mga active chatters. And the, the, the top 20 will get a free copy of my ebook. So let's start. So guys, I just want to share with you, I just came from a wonderful talk from the United Architects of the Philippines. And I just uh, had a great time meet, meeting these celebrities. Uh, if you know who, who they are, please type it in the chat box. And I just want to encourage also, to watch my video about real estate with Miss Rica Paralejo Bonifacio in YouTube. And uh, one of my more memorable talks uh, recently is I had a talk sa College of St. Benilde sa mga mute and deaf nila. So I did a webinar about real estate and I had a translator doing the, uh, the hand actions for me. So nakakatuwa, nakakatuwa. Guys, mahilig ba kayo mag-games? So before we start with our presentation, maglaro muna tayo ng konting pag-game. So this game is all about retirement. Ayan. How many here 
are thinking na about retirement. Say me. How many here are not yet thinking about their retirement? Say not yet, not me. Sabi nga nila, how old do you think you should plan for your retirement? Hmm, pala isipan. Can you go to the chat box and type, how old uh, should you start planning for your retirement? You know, sabi nila, when you're 60, when you're 65, you start to plan for your retirement. Or when you're 50, or when you're 40. But I think the right answer is as early as you can. Start planning for your retirement. Kasi dun talaga tayo papunta eh. And the earlier you plan for retirement, the sweeter it will be. Diba? Alright, let's play a game. So I'm gonna flash some pictures. If you like what you see, you type in your chat box, Yay! If you don't like what you see, you type, No! Ayan, na, game tayo. So, picture number one, type yay or no. Doing what I want, when I want. Yay! Diba? Yay! Retirement, the day when you finally stop working and living. Yay! Question, who wants to work forever? No, we don't want to work forever, diba? How many here wants to work forever? No, we want to work. Uh, we want to work hard early, but the next time we don't have to work as much, diba? Sabi nga nila. Who wants to work because they want to and not because they need to? Yay! Diba? We want to work because gusto natin, not because napipilitan tayo, diba? And lastly, for this one, sa lahat ng mga mommies out there, mga mamshies, how many here wants to grow old? Pero ganun pa rin ang katawan nila. Bikini body pa rin. O, diba? Yay! How about sa mga daddies na nandito sa seminar natin ngayon? How many here wants to have this kind of family? Diba? Enjoying lang kayo on a cruise ship and then your wife has a wonderful, sexy bikini body. Yay! But of course, this is the ultimate one, diba guys? Who wants to grow old? Who wants to retire and be a giver? Diba? Yes! Yan ang gusto natin maging giver tayo when we grow old. You know guys, there's a retirement equation. This is the retirement equation. How many here can volunteer to explain this retirement equation? <laughs> Hit up, diba? Y equals pi over i plus i x minus 1. But how many here wants the shortcut version of this one? Say me! You want the shortcut version of this one? The shortcut version of this one is very simple. Sinasabi lang dito na your desired annual income it times 25 mo lang. So meaning, pag may, yung desired annual income mo, it times 25 mo, yan yung parang nest egg. That's the, the savings that you need to have. Kasi yung savings na yan, pag nilagay mo sa banko at wala ka nang gawin, at a 4% rate, not 10%, Baka hindi mangyari ang 10%. 4% rate lang. You will now get your desired annual income. Okay, sample, sample. So, Sir Carl, sample. So, kunwari gusto mo ng automatic 100,000 a month uh, when you retire. So, that's 1.2 million a year, di ba? So, times 25, that's 30 million pesos. That is your magic number. Basta may 30 million pesos ka in the bank, earning 4%, then you are more or less assured of that 100,000 a month. O, alam ko na yung mga masyadong uh, ma, ma accounting dito na. Hindi sir, paano yung taxes sir? But uh, more or less lang naman. <laughs> more or less lang naman. Okay, sabi ng iba naman, Sir Carl, masyadong mababang goal yan. Ayaw namin ng 100,000 a month lang. Can you make it more, Sir Carl? May just my camera. Yes, so dun sa mga nabibitin sa 100,000 pesos, na gusto ng 500,000 pesos, Yes! You need 6 million a year times 25 is 150 million. So if you have 150 million in the bank earning 4% a year, you now have 500,000 a month na passive income. Yeah, nakaka-encourage, no guys, diba? Palakpak palakpakan naman kayo, palakpakan naman tayo diyan if you if you want to have 500,000 a month of passive income. Yeah, so you have to start now, preparing for your retirement. Kung meron kang 1 million, maging 2 million, maging 3 million, hanggang sa when we're older, you now have 150 million and pwede ka na mag-retire. So the sooner you get 150 million, the sooner you will enjoy the 500,000 a month at 4%.
So guys, I just want to share with you, um, this is my family. Uh, this is Ching Positive. Uh, you can follow me in Facebook, Carl D. Dash Property Guru. Let's be friends in Facebook. And this is my family. I am a family man. I, I enjoy being a dad and being a husband to my wife and family. And our family's big why is this one. We, this is parang our family motto. Now we want to be wealthy. We want to use our God-given talents because we feel na na blessed naman tayo ni God with talent. We should use it so we can overflow and be a blessing to others. Magandang big why ba to, mga kapatid, mga kaibigan, mga kachinito? Hello, hello out there. So today I'm gonna uh, share with you tatlong takeaway lang naman. Ayaw ko ng maraming takeaway pero tatlo lang. All you have to remember is number one, can you help me read? Number two, can you help me read? And number three, for the next 20 minutes, I'll be talking about these three takeaway. And I'm going to share with you true stories. Diba? How many here love stories? I want to share with you, my first lesson in real estate was in 1976. Nung bata pa lang tayo, lumaki tayo dito sa lugar na nagbebenta ng lechon. How many here knows this place? In Quezon City, na puro lechon. Can you type in the chat box? Diyan po tayo lumaki sa La Loma. And I remember my Lola Teresa, meron siyang 700,000 pesos. Uh, ang dilemma niya that time was, what am I gonna do with my 700,000 pesos? So, ang naging decision ni Lola Teresa is, hatiin niya sa gitna. <laughs> Mahirap mag-decide. Eh. So hatiin na lang natin sa gitna para fair. 350, I will put in the bank. Yan ang savings ko, yan ang retirement fund ko. 350,000 in the bank. And 350,000, gagastusin ko, bibili tayo ng house and lot sa Laloma, Quezon City. Guys, yes, 350,000. Uh, Lola Teresa was able to buy a house and lot in Laloma, Quezon City. 500 square meter, bungalow house. Um, medyo two floors. Bungalow, pero parang may second floor, na mini second floor. And that's where I grew up. From, from, days, from the time I was born until I was 20 plus years old dito sa Laloma. So, ito na yung naging investment strategy ni Lola Teresa. 350 in the bank, 350 expense in the house and lot. Now, let me ask you, after 20, 30 years, how much do you think is the money in the bank? How much do you think is the 350,000? Let me share with you a true story. Yung 350,000 ni Lola Teresa, eventually naging zero pesos. O, bakit naging zero pesos, Sir Carl? Alam mo, ang money, pag masyadong liquid, madali rin magamit, mautang, ma-invest kung saan-saan, uh, pinahiram, nalagay sa business, na hindi nag-work. So when Lola Teresa was in her retirement age, she had almost very thin, almost zero money in the bank. And when the hospital bills came in, naubos nang naubos yung, yung pera sa banko. So this everybody was in surprise kasi you think na, Itong tinabi ko sa banko is the one who's supposed to help me when I'm older. But lo and behold, how much do you think <laughs> is the house worth today? Not naman today, but uh, during Lola Teresa's uh, golden years, you will be surprised. The house was sold siguro mga 5, 6, 7 years ago from 350,000 pesos na ibenta yung bahay ng 25 million pesos. Yes, 25 million pesos. Mga, mga, mga kachinito, is 25 million pesos a good amount of money for retirement? Yes, I think so. So for 40 years, yung 350,000 ni Lola Teresa, quietly, unknowingly, walang ginawa si Lola except nag-appreciate lang siya nag-appreciate to a significant sum of money. Now when Lola Teresa was in her senior years, this money... Was a, when they sold their house, this money was able to pay for medical bills and all the utang at nagkaroon pa ng mana to, to the family members. 350,000 plus 40 years. Yun yung naging benefit. Diba? How many here thinks that if you are old, 25 million is still a good amount of money? Yes, diba? And you know, this property today, if you're gonna sell it, siguro yung bumili ni Lola Teresa ng 25 million, Mabibenta pa niya ngayon siguro easily ng 55 million pesos. <laughs> so, grabe, di ba yung capital appreciation? So, what is the learning from Lola Teresa? 
Can you help me guys read? Can you help me read guys? Your best investment is your primary home. You know, there's a Harvard study that people who read aloud will retire and retire rich, retire young and retire rich. So help me read again. Your best investment is your primary home. And Lola Teresa, I want to speak to everybody here who's 40 plus, na feeling nyo, it's late already at 45 years old. It is still not late. 45 binili ni Lola Teresa yung property niya. And then when she was like 65, 70, dun niya na, 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 na benta at they, it was able to fund her medical bills and leave a legacy to the family. You know guys, in my world, there's so many stories about property going up in value. If you bought a Green Hills property in 1976 for 1 million pesos, you can sell it now for an easy 250 million pesos and just go around the world and enjoy. Just like this one. Ayan. Diba? With 250 million. How many he believes that 250 million? Ang laki lalo niya. If you put that in the bank, it's more than this. 150 is gonna be really a good retirement strategy. And what am I sharing, guys? You don't need maraming property. Sometimes, just the right one primary home and that will be your good retirement already. 1 million to 250 million in 40 years. Pero, pwede mo sabihin na, eh, Sir Carlo, masyado naman mahal ang Green Hills na yan. Wala ka bang ibang success story ng mas common people? Meron. Ito ay story ni Tatay Jose. Tatay Jose is a regular worker. Dito siya. I think at this age, he is around 70 plus years old. But, he, he you know, just like a lot of people, ang, ang pera, sometimes we, re, we retire at 60, 60 plus, and sometimes naman yung earning capacity natin, nag-start na bumaba when we're 50 plus, 60 plus. So, Tatay Jose really had the difficult retirement years, yung golden age na nahirapan siya kasi money was tight. All he had was this tiny, tiny property na may umuupa sa kanya na, na room for rent at mga 5,000 a month. So, kung dalawa sila, that's 10,000 a month. And Tatay Jose lived on this 10,000 uh, income from the renter. But you know what? Eventually, Tatay Jose was able to sell this property. This is not a social property. This is a regular property just in Pasig. Uh, nothing, nothing big, small, 200 square. But this was sold for 3 million pesos after 45 years. At alam mo, sabi ni Tatay Jose sa akin, at 10,000 lang, sabi na Tatay, at sabi ni Tatay, Carl, 10,000 ko lang binili yan nung kabataan ko. And di ko na imagine na kung kailan ako naging 70 plus years old, dun pa pala ako magiging milyonaryo. Ngayon lang ako nakahawak ng not only 1 million, not 2 million, but 3 million pesos. Yes! Palakpakan naman tayo dyan. So this is the power of property. Hindi kailangan marami. Kahit isa lang, your primary home. And I was I want to share with you this uh, awesome information care of uh, my good friend Randall Tiongson. This was data from 1956. So when is the best time to buy property? Diba? Sa totoo lang, when is the best time? 50 years ago. <laughs> because at 50 years ago, you would have bought a Forbes Park property for 18 pesos to 20 pesos per square. So sabihin mo na at 20 pesos times 2,000. Magkano yun? Mga kachinito na magaling sa accountant, accounting. 2,000 pesos times 20? What? 400,000 pesos. 400,000 pesos. Meron ka ng bahay sa Makati. And that 400,000 pesos, if you keep it for 50 years, wala kang ginawa. Let's say na hinayaan mo lang sa dyan. For 50, 60 years, that 400,000 pesos will easily be around 2 billion pesos. Or sabi mo na, walang lupa, bahay lang, 1 billion pesos. Grabe, di ba? 400,000 plus 60 years in the making, 70 years, then your 400,000 becomes 1 billion, 2 billion pesos. Grabe, di ba? So what am I sharing? At least in your generation, mga kachinito, at least buy one property. And it's your primary home. Diba? Okay lang na medyo utangin nyo yan kasi kaysa mag-rent kayo na pag nag-rent ka, yung pera mawawala din eh. Bayaran nyo na lang yung interest in the bank. Alright? So that's my first takeaway for you today, guys. 
nag-enjoy ba kayo sa first lesson? Your primary home is your best investment. I have to remind again, binabasa ko yung mga most active chatter out there para magkaroon kayo ng free ebook of six steps to renting out your condo. Lesson number two, I will tell you another story about Auntie Lucy. 1985, medyo lumaki-laki na ako. Uh, and I had my second lesson in real estate. This was a story of my Auntie Lucy. Imagine this, guys. Housewife with five kids. Ages 3, 5, 7, 8, 10. Lahat lalaki. So si Auntie Lucy, maaga nag-asawa, hindi na siya nakapag-finish ng college. So she was 35 years old at this time. Can you visualize that? Guys, sino dito may mga anak na? Say me. How do you feel pag meron kang limang anak? Diba? Ang laki ng load, diba? Stressful. And you're only counting on your husband as the breadwinner. But, you know, unfortunately, mga kachinito, 1985, something happened to Auntie Lucy. Yung husband niya, si Uncle Tony, biglang nag-pass away. Nagkasakit, in a few months na matay. How would you feel, guys, if you were Auntie Lucy? Please go to the chat box and type, How would you feel if you're the housewife of five boys and you're, you're not earning income? Nakarely ka lang sa husband mo. Then namatay yung husband mo. How would you feel if you were Auntie Lucy? Sabi niya, devastated, uh, anxious, worried. Di ba? Parang hindi mo na alam gagawin mo. Parang the whole world is now on your shoulder. It came tumbling down. But I want to share with you what I saw in this story. Good thing si Uncle Tony was able to buy one piece of property. Not two, not three, not five, not ten. Just one piece of property in Quezon City. And that piece of property is a four-door apartment. Five door, four plus one. Yung isa kasi doon nakatira si Auntie Lucy, yung apat na pa-rent out niya. For 6,000 pesos per unit. Total of 24,000 pesos in the 1980s. And this 24,000 pesos survive the family until graduate yung mga kids and, and up until today. So, what's the advantage of this paupahan ni Auntie Lucy? First, hindi kailangan mag-worry ni Auntie Lucy about saan sila titira or where to earn money to pay for the, pa- the rental kasi sa kanila yung property. And because nga paupahan yung business ni, na binigay ni Uncle Tony, Auntie Lucy does not need to go out. Hindi niya kailangan isipin yung mga Sweldo, rental, all Auntie Lucy needs to think is, basta may umuupa, I have 24,000 naman. And I tell you guys, this is a true story. This amount of money survived the family for the next 20 years. At lumaki na lahat ng mga, mga boys and they're all successful businessmen right now. And fast forward 2014, the, all the kids added money pa. So yung four-door apartment naging eight-door apartment. In that single piece of property, kasi may space pa eh. And up until today, eight rental apartments, 20,000 a month, 160,000 a month. Ang, ang income ni Auntie Lucy for, from this one property alone na iniwan ni Uncle Tony. What do you think, guys? ba diba ang sarap na meron tayong ganun passive income through rental? So lesson number two from Auntie Lucy I want to share with you is cash flow. Yan yung gusto natin. Because profit from rental is easy to compute. Basta may tenant ka, you know you're good. Unlike business na ang dami mo kailang isipin, supply, stock, marketing, delivery system, property is so much easier to manage. Guys, I want to share with you. Ito pala isipan, guys. What do you think is the greatest secret of the wealthy. Ito, natutunan ko to uh, in my work with Ayala Land. Lahat ng mayayaman, they have this. Passive income. P&I. Passive income. So let me ask you, mga kapatid, which would you like to choose? I give you a golden egg na ready to consume. Gold na to. Or bibigyan kita ng white goose that lays you the golden egg. Tuloy-tuloy. For 5 years, 6 years, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years. What would you choose? An apple na pwede mo nang kainin agad ngayon? Or car, sir Carl, bigyan mo na ako ng apple tree. Ah, alagaan ko yan, palalaguhin ko siya para for the next 20 years, tuloy-tuloy ang pagbigay niya sa akin ng apple fruit. Ah, di ba? <laughs> How about this one? An apple tree or an iPhone 13 Pro Max? Oh, di ba? So sabihin nila, sir Carl, iPhone 13 na lang. Aanihin ko ang apple tree. Di ba? 
Who wants to work forever? We don't want. We don't want to work forever, mga kapatid. We want to enjoy life. We work because we want to and not because we need to. Right? I just want to share with you, uh, just to encourage you. Like this is a sample paupahan. Pag may binibenta sa inyong ganun, in a nice location na maraming, uh, maraming tao, pwede nyo bilhin yan. Pwede nyo i-rehabilitate. At eventually, it can be your rental income property. Diba? So, second takeaway for today is develop rental cash flow. Are you guys learning? You know guys, nung lumalaki ako, lagi yung binibiro ng mga kamag-anak ko na si Carl, malakas yan managinip, managinip ng gising. You know, we did not grow up in a wealthy family. Yung parents ko po dati ay encyclopedia salesman. Oo. And uh, namadalas ako mangara. So one of my pangarap when I was growing up is I want to have a Mercedes Benz. Meron akong Rolex watch at umiinom ako ng Starbucks. So I just want to share with you mga kapatid na at this point in my life, nakainom na po ako ng Starbucks. <laughs> You know, this is me when I was growing up, uh, 12 years old. Nakita mo yung polo natin. Yan yung mga uso dati, maluluwag. Sabi ng mami ko sa akin, Carl, yan ang uso na polo, maluwag. Yung pala para 4 years, 5 years magagamit ko. Reuse ng reuse. Sabi ko sa mami ko, Mami, can you buy me this push button pencil box? Kasi mga kaibigan ko na mayayaman, meron sila nito. And I was in grade school. At sabi ng parents ko sa akin, Anak, wala tayong... <laughs> wala tayong... Budget. Wala tayong pera. How many here can relate na pag nag-request tayo sa parents natin, sinasabi ng parents natin na wala tayong budget, anak. And then sabi ng parents ko sa akin, Carl, pag maging honor student ka, ibibili kita ng push button pencil box. How many here can relate to that? So nag-aral talaga si Carl din ng mabuti when I was in grade school. How many here thinks I became an honor student? Diba? Type in a chat box, one, if you think I became an honor student. Type number two, if you think I failed. So, fast forward to March. Nag-aral ako mabuti. Here's my report card, mga, mga kaibigan. This is my name. This is my grade sa baba. Ayan. If you want to zoom in closer, that's my grade. Anong tawag dyan? PA. Pasang awa. There you go. So, eventually, dahil nga gusto ko mag- mabili ng pencil box, I became a delivery boy at 12 years old. And I was able to earn uh, 50 pesos a day. Oh, napakasaya ko noon kasi I finally, I'm able to earn my own money. Then eventually, pinagpala tayo. Blessing, 2002, I was able to find work in Makati. Grabe, di ba? From delivery boy, I was now a working class in Makati. I will take the MRT to from Blumentritt in La Loma, di ba? I'll go to Blumentritt, Blumentritt to Hill Puyad, Buendia, then take a bus going to Ayala Avenue. And I would meet a lot of my bosses and mentors. And in my work with Ayala Land 20 years ago, I would meet a lot of wealthy people and experience the life of the rich and wealthy. Ayan. And over the years, I was able to learn a lot of the wealthy mindset from them. Kaya nandito tayo mga kapatid, nag-share tayo ng mga knowledge because I believe that every one of us, pag may talent tayo, is we have to share this out to people. That's why we became a speaker in real estate, and up until today, we've been speaking and speaking about real estate na. Guys, I want to share with you my last learning and through a story again. This is a story from a good friend of mine, si Miguel. Miguel is a 27-year-old guy. Uh, IT. Lumapit siya sa akin a few years ago and, sa- and sabi niya, Sir Carl, meron akong 700,000 pesos. What am I gonna do? What do you advise na invest ko? Sabi ko, Miguel, of course, you go buy property. This was before the Pogo pa. Mga siguro mga 10 years ago na pala. 10 years ago. So sabi ni Miguel, pero Sir Carl, a condo easily is uh, 2.5 million pesos. Eh, 700,000 lang yung pera ko. And I told Miguel, Miguel, umutang ka. <laughs> umutang ka. And sabi ni Miguel, Sir Carl, may 700,000 pesos ako ngayon. Gusto mong ibayad ko tong 700,000 to the developer and I will borrow 1.8 million, mas malaki pa sa initial na pera ko, para magkaroon ako ng, ng rental property. But uh, sabi ko, Miguel, you're young, your income is good, you take the risk. And you will learn along the way the concept of uh, leverage and borrowing money. So what do you think? 
Then Miguel listened to Sir Carl D. Ayan, bali, pag nautay siya ng 1.8 million, uh, he's gonna be in debt for 20,000 a month for 10 years. From 27 years old to 37, Miguel will be in debt dahil kinausap na si Sir Carl. 700,000 positive after talking to Sir Carl, 1.8 million in debt. <laughs> Patay. Okay, but here's the... May good news naman to mga, mga kachinito. So Miguel, at 27 years old, nilet ko niya 700,000 niya, nagkaroon siya ng utang na 1.8 million. Bigla siya may utang na 20,000 a month, a month sa banko. But you know what? Something good happened in the, in the past 10 years? Nagkaroon siya ng renter. Nagkaroon siya ng tenant of 20,000 pesos. So is this good or not good, mga kapatid? Some will say, not good, Sir Carl, kasi equal lang, hindi siya yumayaman. No, my friends, I'm gonna change your perspective. This is very good. Because Miguel was now able to find a third person na hindi niya kilala para bayaran yung utang niya. I have never heard of any situation na you can find somebody you don't know at babayaran niya yung utang mo. So for the next 10 years, tuloy-tuloy yan, there was Pogo, there was Renter, Miguel's condo was rented out. Minsan may mga here and there na vacancy, but overall it was rented out. So for the next 20, uh, 10 years, the renter paid for Miguel's utang. And after and the first the first 10 years, walang income si Miguel. Ano lang, the, the income goes to pay for the loan, the income goes to pay for the loan. But fast forward today, 37 years old na si Miguel. 37 years old na siya, tuloy-tuloy pa rin yung 20,000 amount na income. And imagine mo, if Miguel kept buying and buying and investing and investing using this model, who would have thought na baka pag 45 years old na siya, mayroon na siyang limang 20,000 a month or an automatic 100,000 a month passive income from rental. Is this fantastic, guys? Are you guys seeing it? So what is the learning? Number three, you're never too young to start property investing. I want to encourage you to learn. Guys, I want to emphasize to learn how to use the bank facilities. Do not jump in agad, but learn. And of course, while you're young, sa mga kabataan out there, if you have excessive monthly income, it's good to have four savings. Alam niyo yun, di ba kapatid? Pag bumibili kayo ng kotse, dati parang kapos yung pera nyo. Pero ngayon na nagkaroon ka na ng kotse, meron kang 15,000 naman, nababayaran mo naman yung kotse, di ba? <laughs> so imagine, mamaya meron ka ng property binibili. Uy, Nabayaran ko naman pa rin pala. Kaya ko pa rin. So, for savings is a really good strategy uh, to build your wealth. So, last few slides, mga, mga kachinito. What is leverage? Leverage is the use of borrowed money to increase the potential return of your investment. Diba? Kung 700,000 lang yung money ni Miguel, doon lang siya mag-earn doon sa percentage of the 700,000. But because binili natin siya ng investment product na 2.5 million na rental property, he was now able to get 20,000 a month from the rental property. Siguro at 700,000, kung nilagay niya yun at 5% in the, in the bank, magkano yun? 700,000, 35,000 a year or 3,000-ish a month versus 20,000 na naka-leverage. So I just want to end with this. Learn how to use credit line to buy property and maximize all the resources that you have. So on that note, guys, I hope you learned something new today. This is our key takeaway. Your primary home is your best investment. Develop rental cash flow and learn how to leverage. So by the way, guys, for those active chatters out there, uh, nagsinungaling po ako. Pasensya na po. Paumanhin. Everybody is a winner. Yes. Here's how to claim your free ebook. Okay, listen guys. So here's how to claim your free ebook. Go to Facebook, search Creating Wealth Carl D sa mga groups. Once you see Creating Wealth Carl D, you join that group and once you're inside, the link will flash so you can get your ebook there. And I also want to share that uh, I have one-to-one -one private coaching sa mga gusto manghingi ng advice, mag-ask ng business advice, real estate advice. Uh, you want to buy a property, you want to have Carl Dick uh, give your comments. We have a, a private one-to-one -one coaching. 
uh, just go to the just go to Facebook again and search my page and do a link to the one to one coaching. And by the way, guys, uh, last slide. I have another gift for you. I have a te- if you enjoyed this 20 minute talk, I have a 10 hour talk. 10 hour all about real estate. Rentals, collection, things to watch out for, farming, farming property, build and sell, townhouse, case studies, lahat yan. 10 hours of workshop recorded here in bit.ly CDY workshop. And if you use the code CDYESME, may counting discount pa yan. Alright guys, a wealthy person is simply someone who has learned how to make money when they are not working. Diba? Fantastic, right? Remember the Lord your God, for it is He who gives you the ability to produce wealth. And so, you know, for it is He who gives you the ability to produce wealth. Thank you very much, guys. I had so much fun talking to you. And I wish you have a great afternoon listening to all the great speakers that will come before and after me. Maraming salamat. Thank you very much, everybody. InvestFest 2022 is brought to you by these major partners. Atram, To Trade Asia. And these other partners. Do not forget to share your experience and learning on social media. Use our official hashtag. InvestaFest 2022